Hi folks, Blake here, hope you're doing well. I'm back with another roughly weekly music related video for YouTube and as we're about halfway through March now I thought I'd do an updated version of my local music guide featuring local and independent talented musicians and fantastic recent releases that they've put out there. So here are five more brilliant musicians and some great original music that they've released. Before I start, I just want to say, obviously it's super important to support local and independent artists. That's how they make their living and it's also kind of their dream, so to get out there and do stuff. So if you do enjoy any of the tracks you hear, then please be sure to follow the artists that I mention and you can get all of their Spotify tracks too. All the links you need are in the description below, so make sure to check that out. And speaking of that, I've made a playlist on Spotify and the link is also below and it features every single song that I've done in this series and there's over a hundred songs now so I've actually been doing this series for probably a couple of years now which is a bit mad but I really enjoy doing it I get to talk to new musicians I've not met and listen to a lot of great music so if you want to support any of that or me and my channel then please do but let's get on with it here are five more fantastic musicians or acts and their brilliant recent releases Okay, so first up we've got Roxy Searle. Now Roxy is a good friend of mine and I've known her for a few years. She has done lots and lots of stuff musically. She's played different venues, she's played festivals, she's played with lots of different musicians, done lots of events, done lots of exciting things with the music. But believe it or not, she's only just released her debut single, which is quite amazing really. Um, it's called Country Girl and it was released last month. And it's already had a bit of radio play as well. So you can get Roxy at Roxy Searle on all social media channels. She recently played a gig at Club 85 in Hitchin and that was with an all-star cast of only female musicians. And very soon, on the 7th of April, she's playing at the Corn Exchange in Hartford, which is another fantastic venue. So if you are local or nearby, then please be sure to go along and see her. She's going to be doing her own original music as well, which I think is one of the first times she's had a gig like that, doing all of her own original stuff, so that's quite exciting. But yeah, her recent release is called Country Girl. So Roxy is a singer-songwriter and this track is a kind of country pop hybrid uh, track, it's really nice. It's got an upbeat feel to it, it's got some great guitar tones in there and a really cool shuffle feel to the percussion as well. And Roxy's voice really cuts through, it's quite soulful. Yeah, it's got a very smooth quality, it's really nice. It's called Country Girl and she's actually recorded a YouTube video for this which is somewhere between a candid behind the scenes recording session and a lyric video, it's really well done. So I'm going to show you a little bit of it. Here is Country Girl by Roxy Searle. So next up is a very talented three-piece that I've actually mentioned previously in an episode of this series but way back months ago and they're called Indy and the Vegas um, and they're based around the Three Counties area and play lots of stuff around there and beyond and they've recently released a new track and it's called Holding Me Down. It's very funky so Indy and the Vegas are a three-piece pop band but their genre kind of jumps between uh, different things so they are pop music but they have a lot of really cool guitar stuff in there. Indy's got quite a soulful voice um, and they've kind of brought in some very funky elements to this one. It's a very cool track. So I really enjoyed listening to this track and it had a really cool kind of almost soundtrack like quality to it. So it's very funky, it's very memorable and gets in your head. And it made me feel kind of similar to when you watch sort of classic coming of age or tear away um, films. Things like Back to the Future, it's got a really cool funky sort of pop sound to it and would go great for dancing along, singing along, or anything you want to use it for. So it's called Holding Me Down. You can get Indie in the Vegas on their website, which is IndieInTheVegas.com, and they're Indie in the Vegas on all socials, and like I said, 
the links you need are in the comments below if you like this stuff. And they're also playing kind of everywhere at the moment, but they've got a gig very soon. It's at the end of March, it's on the 26th of March, and they're playing at the White Lion in Baldock. So if you're around, be sure to go along. They're a great outfit. So here's their new song, Holding Me Down by Indy and the Vegas. <laughs> So next up is an artist that isn't local to me, but is a local artist and is independent and fantastically talented as well. So this is Pepper Kitts. Now Pepper is based out of Alaska. She plays the ukulele and writes some really beautiful and sensitive kind of vulnerable lyrics. She's recently released a new track and it's called Gone in a Landslide. So Pepper works with some very well-known producers on this track. So she works with Brock Dittus and James Glaves and the track is called Gone in a Landslide. It's really great, it's quite minimal in terms of the instrumental backing and it's all about the lyrics and kind of the rise and fall of the character. So she's talking about a sort of internal struggle. Um, it's a really beautiful song and like I said, there's a lot of vulnerability there. There is a beautifully mastered version on Spotify, but I'm gonna show you a version that Pepper's actually performed in an acoustic setting with just her and her ukulele, as I think it's really beautiful stripped back. So here is Gone in a Landslide by Pepper Kit. Gone in a landslide What, what, what if I want you? What, what, what if I need you? I'm just adding it up How I've lost all my edges Now I'm falling faster And I, I, I think I want you If you enjoyed that, you can get her at her website, which is pepperkitmusic.com, and she's Pepperkit or Pepperkit Music on all social medias as well. So go and check her out there. So another artist I've featured on the series, but not for quite a while, is Iera. So Iera is a fantastic singer-songwriter, and she's released a new single. It's called In a Little Box, and it's a kind of cynical, but also a little bit. Um, Kind of worried perspective on what the current world situation is like, watching the news, what to think, kind of black and white scenarios and how to handle the state of things and, and kind of feeling like you're in a little box both in the way that you're you're trapped in your thoughts and, and in what thoughts are being passed to you and also because people in the news are in a little box. So it's got some really great lyricism in there and it's a really beautiful composition. It's well made, it's very well mixed and Ear has got a fantastic voice. So at the start she comes in with very soft kind of whispered vocals and it builds up into some really quite impressive vocal lines and that's kind of with her becoming more distressed by the situation. Um, it's also got some really punchy guitar chords in there as well. It's great, a kind of really great indie tune. I guess I'd say it's pop, indie pop sort of genre, but it's really well done. And there's a really great video that she made for it as well, which is on her YouTube, which I'll show in a moment. You can get her everywhere at Yera Music on social media platforms, and she's frequently releasing really great tunes. Like I said, I've featured her on here before, so be sure to go and check her out. And she's actually playing at Folk by the Oak Festival. That's in the summer, it's in July, but I'm letting you know in case you want to get tickets, especially if you're into folk music in general, singer-songwriters, that sort of thing. Be sure to go along, it's a really great festival. That's on the 17th of July, and Iera will be one of the performers playing there. So here is In A Little Box by Iera. Of oxygen. I don't wanna Be 
Get your identity inside a red cap Take to the streets, you're doing fine Just as long as you keep telling our line Pick a color, anyone you like Just make sure you choose either black or white Okay, and finally we've got Jack Alexander. So these are a great rock band, uh, quite heavy rock band based in Hertfordshire, but they're kind of blowing up. They've been playing a lot around London and kind of beyond. They've actually got a headline show in London. It's at the O2 Academy in Islington, I think, and that's on the 17th of April. So I'm letting you know because be sure to get your tickets. Um, the Academy tickets typically sell out pretty quickly for events and this will be a really great event so be sure to go and check them out on their socials and get your tickets for that. They are the Jack Alexander on social platforms. So Jack Alexander, I've just released a new single, it's called Falling and it's great, it's very overdriven, kind of rock singing and kind of guitar lines as well, there's a lot of great riffs in there. So from a lyrics point of view, it kind of relates to falling into anxiety, falling into kind of stress and worry and madness and all that sort of thing, instability in ourselves and kind of something we can all relate to in our points at the lowest, you know, our points of desperation. It's a really great song, it builds up and can kind of sort of represent that inner struggle when we're dealing with those sort of things. So it would really help, I think, for anyone who is dealing with that sort of stuff to have a listen. But I also think it's just a great rock tune. Um, Falling is a follow-up to their debut single, We Owe It To The Night, which was released a couple of years ago and went down really well. So here is some of Falling by Jack Alexander from Spotify. I'm feeling so anxious. The thoughts in my head, they just drive me insane. I'm a freak of feeling I'm steady. I open my mouth and it's harder to speak. I'm weak and need some closure. My head is a mess and I'm out of control. And I wish it was over. Okay, thank you for watching. That was a new episode of my monthly series for local and independent musicians who have released some incredible original music. That one covering all the stuff from the last month or two. Obviously I do these every month, but I hear some tracks a little bit after they've come out. Be sure to let me know what you think and please be sure to go and follow the musicians on their social media platforms, on their websites, and you'll get notified when they're doing gigs, when they're releasing music, all that sort of very exciting stuff especially now that we can kind of go out and do gigs and enjoy music a bit more in a public setting once again. So there's some great events coming up. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, I do videos every single week that are always music related and they're not always local music guides. I also do my own music stuff. I do covers, I do my own songs, my own performances. I do vlogs where I talk about things I've experienced as a musician. I do things like gag reels, I do things like reaction videos, I do guitar lessons, loads and loads of stuff. So if you're into anything musical and want to join me in the future, please be sure to click that little subscribe and notification bell button and then you'll be notified every single time I do a new video. And finally I just want to say I've started performing on Twitch, I do that every week. I've started every Tuesday, but I might vary that depending on how it goes and what it's like. I'm getting used to using the hardware, I'm getting used to using all the setup, but I'm really enjoying it. So if you are free and you use Twitch and you fancy watching some live music, then come and follow me, I'm Blake Baker Music on Twitch. Again, all my links you need are down below. That's it for this episode. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next time. Source makes a makeshift bed. Hands met knees, now woke up with you instead. If I only